Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins with another one. Combat Radio. And today, we look at Tyson Fury. And later on, we go into his lineal championship claim. And we also look at his drug ban and his inability to rematch Fury, which puts a dent in his lineal championship claim. Okay, so let's go. Let's get into this. Right. Tyson Fury in this article by Boxing Scene. This latest article, May the 2nd. Tyson Fury, I am lineal champ. My status goes back 100 years. Today, we debunk that. But first, let's get into the article. Heavyweight Tyson Fury, 27 0 and 1. 19 KOs. Has taken plenty of verbal jabs over his next opponent. Fury will take on massive underdog Tom Swartz on June the 15th at the MGM Grand Las Vegas. But there hasn't been a good reception for this fight. There has not been a good reception for this fight at all. After Fury had a deal on the table to face WBC champion Deontay Wilder in a rematch and walked away from the bout to ink an exclusive co-promotional deal with top ranking ESPN. There is Tyson Fury. But Fury is not concerned with the critics. He's not concerned. He believes that being the lineal champ by beating Vladimir Klitschko in November 15 allows him the luxury of facing whosoever he so pleases. I'm very unconcerned with rankings. Tom Schwartz is ranked above me, he says. I think he's referring to the IBF rankings. And if we take a look at the IBF rankings, if you take a look at the IBF rankings, you will see that they are very peculiar indeed. With low ranking fighters fighting ranking higher than high ranking fighters. So the IBF rankings cannot be taken seriously. That is my contention. The rankings to me are unimportant. I'm the lineal champ. I've got the status going back 100 years. I debunk that later. The belt doesn't mean nothing to me. As for the mandatory, I'd never box any of these men as their mandatory. Not interested at all. I'm above all of that. The Gypsy King fights who he wants to fight, when he wants to fight. People say, do you think these top three will fight each other? Do they not remember when I went to America and beat Deontay Wilder? That fight was a draw. Only a few months ago, the top two did fight each other. Well, no, Anti Joshua is number one. We'll look into that later. I've proved time and time again, I can go anywhere and beat anyone. I don't need to prove anything to anyone. Hmm. Following the bout with Swatch, Fury intends to return to the ring on September 28th. I'm going to have a few weeks off and then it's back to work again because I have another fight on the 28th of September, said Fury. I haven't been given dates. I've been given dates. And that's the next date. For the next six months, I'm going to be active. I've got three dates. And those are the words covered by boxing scene from Tyson Fury. Now, let's take a look into, let's take a look into Tyson Fury, free to fight again after receiving a backdated two year ban from UCAD anti-doping. Now this article is from Tuesday, the 12th of December, 2017. Okay, now, so, as the title states, 
the band was received from UKAD, known as UCAD, and that stands for UK Anti Doping. Now, to be clear, UCAD only gives bans to people who have doped. So if you receive a UCAD ban, or in particular, if you receive a two-year ban from UCAD, you have doped. Tyson Fury received a two-year ban from UCAD. Now, let's get into the article. Former heavyweight champion, former heavyweight champion of the world has received a two-year ban from boxing, which has been backdated to December 25th. December 25th. Now, let's quickly have a look at BoxRec. Here we see Tyson Fury. Let's have a look at his record over here. Let's go over a little bit. Let's look at Vladimir Klitschko. The 25th of the 11th, the 28th day, the 11th month, year 2015. The 28th day, over a bit more. The 28th day of the 11th month, 2015. That's the date he beat Vladimir Klitschko. Okay, remember that date. 28th of 11th. Backdated to December the 25th. Okay, so that's a few, year, few days after he beat Vladimir Klitschko. That's when his band started from. A few days after Tyson Fury beat Klitschko, his band started from that date. Okay? Right. So, let's get into it. Right. Fury is free to resume his, resume his boxing career. After accepting a backdated two-year ban. The former unified heavyweight champion. Unified. Remember those words. Unified. Heavyweight champion. Has not fought since his stunning world title triumph over Vladimir Klitschko. In November 2015. Remember, he was banned from December 2015. After he tested positive for a banned steroid. Steroid, right? In January, in February 2015. So he tested positive for a banned steroid in February 2015. Fury's cousin and fellow heavyweight Yui Fury, 23 at the time, also tested positive for elevated levels of the banned steroid Nandrolone. You'll remember at this time, Tyson Fury was training in the same camp as Yui Fury under the father of Yui Fury, Peter Fury. And they both tested for the banned steroid Nandrolone. Okay. Now, both men blamed the result on eating uncastrated wild boar. Now, we don't have wild boar in the UK very much. That's more of a Spanish thing. But anyway... It's a similar defense to the one used by Spanish cyclist and two-time Tour de France champ winner Alberto Contador. I used to watch Tour de France as a kid. Yeah. Who tested positive for the banned steroid in 2010. Alberto Contador used the wild boar defense when he tested positive in 2010. Alberto Contador was a Tour de France winner. Two-time Tour de France winner. We all know it has been said that to do the Tour de France safely, you should be on steroids and EPO. 
it's safer for the body, apparently. That has been said. So it's fair to believe that Alberto Contador was on steroids, Nandrolone. And he tested positive for the, the same thing. The two heavyweights claimed they had never knowingly or deliberately committed any anti-doping rule of violation and have accepted a backdated two-year ban. That means Fury is few to res resume his boxing career, subject to receiving his license. In a statement published by promoter Hennessy Sports, Fury said that he was looking forward to returning to the ring and resuming his career. Two-year ban for steroids. That's what Tyson Fury got. I'm a fighting man through and through, and I've never backed down from anyone in my life, and I certain and I'm I was certainly not going to back down from fighting this dispute, said Fury. You and I have maintained maintained our innocence from day one, and we are now happy that it has been finally settled with you, Cat, and that we can move move forward knowing that we're we'll not be labeled drug cheats. When you receive a two-year ban for Nandrolone, my friend, that exa is exactly the category that you fall into. Just stating the facts, not opinion. Okay. Right. Picture of uh, Fury beating Vladimir Klitschko. The 29-year-old... The 29-year-old's case has been complicated by several other factors, though, as he failed a test for cocaine, cocaine, in September 26, and later admitted using the recreational drugs drug to deal with depression related to his injury and UCAT problems. As part of the compromise deal, UCAT withdrew a charge against Fury of failing to provide a sample in September 2016. September 2016. Let's go over to BoxRec and see what was happening at that time. Fury. Where are we? Where is September 2016? Oh. Okay, so he didn't have a fight in September 2016. There's a gap from September 2015 to, no, from November 2015 to the 6th, that's the 6th of 26th month of 2018. There's a gap. There's a gap. September 2016 would have been in between. Okay, so we see a habit, a pattern of drug usage most unfortunate most unfortunate so that was withdrawn against him he could have been charged for that too however his february 2015 win over christian hammer has officially been disqualified all titles prize money and ranking points that fury secured as a result of his victory in that fight are forfeited said the UCAD statement read. The result of this fight will now likely be changed to a no contest. Let's go back to BoxRec. Let's look at Christian Hammer. Let's look at the decision. It's still down as a win. That should be down as a no contest. Box rec, fix up. That is not a win, that is a no contest. That is a no contest over Christian Hammer. Okay. Let's go back into this foran forensic examination. And let's be clear. His win over Christian Hammer has, a, has been officially disqualified. Failure to test. Officially disqualified v. Christian Hammer. No contest.
UCAD's position is that the anti-doping rule violation violations it has asserted have been committed and the consequences set out in the UCAD anti-doping rules should apply. Failure to supply. Guilty of cocaine use and nandrolone use. Okay, so now we look around this period. This is around the period he was fighting Vladimir Klitschko. This is around the period where he beat Vladimir Klitschko. And this is the period when he retired without giving Vladimir Klitschko a rematch. So, unified champion? No. You cannot claim unified champion when you've had coke banned substances in your system before and after that win. And then retiring, coming out of the game for two years, fighting anti-doping charges. No, my friend. Unified champion, no. Not to mention that you retired. Not to mention that you failed to provide a drug sample, a test, a, a test for a drug test, a sample for a drug test. Not to mention that you failed a drug test prior to the fight and then provide, failed to provide a sample for drug testing after the fight. No. You were using drugs during that period, my friend. Steroids and recreational drugs. Unified champion. On top of that, you retired for two years without giving Vladimir Klitschko his rematch. Unified champion, no. You cannot call yourself that. Sorry, my dear friend. You're a fellow Brit, but let's be fair. You can't be doping, drug using, before and after that win. And call yourself, and then fail to give a rematch and call yourself unified champion or rather lineal champion you were you can't call yourself lineal champion for a brief period the briefest of periods the briefest of periods my friend so you don't get privileges and rights to fight no hopers low ranking fighters where is Christian where is Swartz Tom Swartz ranked in the in box rec something like 35 45 no, sorry. No, just no. As you realize by now, this is a long form video into my investigation into Tyson Fury's claim to be current lineal champ. And as you can see, it's not looking good for Tyson. Not looking good at all. It's looking very, very bad. And now we look at Vladimir Klitschko v. Tyson Fury postponed. World heavyweight rematch on hold. This article was written on the 23rd of September 16. Stay with me. Stay with me. Remember, 20, remember that date. 23rd of September 2016. That's an important date. That's a very important date. As part of the compromise deal, UCAD withdraw a charge against Fury for failure to provide a sample under September 2016. You see the relevance of that date? 23rd of September 16. Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko fight world heavyweight rematch on hold. Remember, you failed to provide a sample. You only failed to provide a sample if you're guilty as charged. 2016 World We know that he had Banned substances in his system At that point The world British world British world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury has postponed his rematch With Vladimir Klitschko For a second time Because he is medically unfit Remember that term Medically unfit Yeah that really means drugs in the system. We found that out. Drugs in the system, that should read. The promoter did not disclose details, but said the condition is too severe to allow him to participate. <laughs> the condition is banned substances in the system. 
a, bar, a steroid and, you know, party drugs in the system. That was the medically unfit. Stay with me. Fury 28 beat the... Yeah, we know that. The original rematch was scheduled for the 9th of July, Manchester Arena, and was postponed on June after Fury injured his ankle. Did he injure his ankle? Or was there drugs in the system? We know he was using drugs in that time. The rearranged match rematch with the WBA, WBO belts on the line had been scheduled for the 29th of October. Tyson will now immediately undergo treatment. He needs to make a full recovery. <laughs> oh dear. We and Tyson wish to expect express our sincerest apologies for all of those concerned. Had Tyson, remember, had Tyson been tested, you would have lost the belt. You'd have been banned from that point. And Klitschko would have gone on to fight other people. Other fighters. But no, they came out with the medically unfit. But we know the Fury, as part of the compromise deal, Fury withdrew a charge against Fury of failure to provide a sample on September 2016. Drugs in the system on September 2016. The 29-year-old's case has also been complicated by other factors, though, as he failed a test for cocaine in September 2016. Tyson Fury was doped in September 2016. The month before, he was due to fight Vladimir, Vladimir Klitschko in, in October 2016. Mythbusters. Busting the truth. Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. Now we know. This is a document. A documentary. You keep this. You save this. You share this. You can always go back to it. You understand why this is a long form video. Okay. Won't be too long now. We're going to wrap up soon. Give me another five or so minutes. We wish to express our sincerest apologies. Can stuff your apologies up the mm, mm, sideways. You should have let Vladimir Klitschko know that you were on drugs and could not fight. You had steroids in your system. You had cocaine in the system. You messed around the box in public. And then have the audacity to say you unified champion when you couldn't fight the rematch because you got drugs in your system. You're having a laugh. In August, Fury was charged with a doping offence by UCAD's UK Anti-Doping Agency body. With a hearing into the alleged violation set to take place in November. Steve Bunn says it's a great shame and I can see him being stripped of the belts. He was in no condition to fight. He was drugged up, doped up. There we have it. Here's some pictures, a picture of Fury. 